Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Free Will Brewing. These guys are out of Percocee, Pennsylvania. We did one of their beers yesterday, and we're going to do this one today. This was sent to me by my brother in craft beer, Rico. Everybody knows who Rico is. Uh, he come down and spent a weekend with me, and we did a couple beer reviews together. Uh, we're brothers from a different mother. Uh, I do consider him a great friend, a true brother, and he is welcome in my house anytime. He is a he's a true lover of craft beer, just like me. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna get his palate up to up to par, and uh, we're gonna get him comfortable on the camera. Uh, he started off a little shaky, but uh, uh, after the second or third review, he was a trooper. I mean. Uh, he could actually do beer reviews himself if he wanted to do that. And maybe that will happen someday. Uh, I'm hoping so. And maybe we'll, we'll get him to do that here. Uh, uh, I'll get off camera and let him do some beer reviews here. I don't really care. Uh, that would be great. Uh, let him get his own channel started there. Because he, uh, he knows what good beer is about. He does. So, Rico, my brother, love you, my, love you much, my brother. You are... You're you're a true friend. I do I do I do mean that sincerely. Uh, I love you, man. Uh, let's uh, get on with this one. This is the Rapius, and what that is is an imperial stout. And according to what it says here, it is a Russian style imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels, 15.1 percent alcohol by volume. Now this is a big boy's beer, and let me tell you, this is a sipper, not a chubber. You wouldn't want to grab one of these or a four pack of these because that's probably how it comes. Let me see what he sent me a little note here. It says pre will Ralphius bottled on 11 9 16 and to me it looks like it's 11 3 but it may be a 9. <clears throat> Their inking machine leaves a little bit to be desired guys. They need to have a little bit brighter ink or a different color ink to see it. It's, I can see it's written on there, but it is very, very, very hard to read. I had to put my Santa Claus glasses on even just to see it. That's why I'm thinking it's maybe an 03 instead of an 09, but it could be either one. It's very hard to see those threes and nine sometimes when it's written so light like this. But uh, it's got a nice label on it. got a picture of a dog with his tongue hanging out. That must be Ralphius. But uh, looking forward to this beer. This is a uh, my final beer of the evening and on the side here it does have 2016 in big letters on the label and technically that's all we need but I'd like to see the month we don't need the day just tell us what it was done in January or November as in this case is so we know whether it was done at the beginning of the year or the end of the year or the middle of the year whatever it may be it says full bodied and chewy with velvety complex layers of malt and rose, dark fruit caramel, and vanilla notes from the bourbon barrels. Sounds tasty to me, guys. Uh, and like I said, he said, I said uh, tw vintage on the label, 15.1% barrel aged Russian Imperial Stout, and he picked this up at the Pizza Boy Brewing, and it was $10 for one bottle. Kind of pricey, but it's a 15.1 percenter, guys. Come on. That's three beers in one bottle. 
ten dollars is not a bad price to pay for a 15.1 percenter because there's people that goes out to the bars around here and pay five dollars for a Budweiser in a glass and that's horse piss as far as I'm concerned or Miller or Coors if you're paying five dollars for one of those and you find this to be an expensive beer you're a zipper head uh, if you're going to pay for a quality beer that's been aged in bourbon barrels, it's taken up that space in the brewery, and you're getting a 15.1% Russian Imperial Bourbon, and I don't think it says bourbon barrel. Yes, it does. It does say bourbon barrels. Aged in bourbon barrels. That's not a bad price to pay. It really isn't. And if you're probably going to get a better deal than that if you're buying a four-pack somewhere where these are sold in four-packs. Because I can pretty much guarantee you this is sold at a four-pack and not a six-pack at that ABV. So, but still, you're looking at a four-pack. If it's close to $40, you're going, oh, my God. But you just realize what you're getting here. Three beers in one. You're buying a four-pack. That's 12 beers. You're buying a 12-pack pack of a bourbon barrel-aged Russian Imperial Stout with quality ingredients. So, uh, you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. And just about everything that you think of. You can go out and buy uh, a cheap version of this or a cheap version of that. Do you want a Pinto? Do you want a Cadillac? I mean, you can do whatever. You can buy a stripped down plain Jane, like a Budweiser or a Miller or a Coors, and you get what you pay for, a bunch of horse piss. Or you can buy something that's made with quality ingredients, that's been aged in bourbon barrels, and get a good quality beer. Uh, that's how I feel about it, guys. It's just like in the gun store business, which I am in now. You can go in and you can buy an entry-level gun, pay a couple hundred dollars for it, or you can buy a top-of-the-line 1911 edition SIG or Colt or, or something like that, or a Smith uh, Performance Center gun, and you're going to pay twelve to fifteen hundred dollars for that same caliber gun. But you're going to get a lot better gun, you're going to get a better trigger, you're going to get, I mean, it's just, it's night and day, it's like comparing oranges to apples. Uh, a lot of difference there. You, uh, you can buy something cheap or you can buy something quality. Bottom line there. Uh, commercial description on this one, it says aged in bourbon barrels. Well, we know that already. So, uh, uh, Ray Beer, thanks for that fountain of information that's already written on the bottle. So at least they can put something on there that's a little different than what's written on the bottle. So if you've got one, you already know what that is. And you don't need to them to tell you that. So uh, IBUs on this beer, they had it on the other one, but I don't see it on this one. It is not written on this one, and it's not critical. We don't, we don't really need that for a Russian Imperial style. But I am going to check with Untapped before we get on with this and see if it by chance, no. So, right beer, beer advocate, or uh, untapped has the IBUs on this beer. All right, that's all we need to talk about. So, while I get the cap off of it, I will tell you it goes well with your chocolate dishes. It's a Russian Imperial Stout. Oh, while I'm flipping this around, if you need an opener, give me a shout. Let me know. I still got quite a few here. Very limited uh, quantities and sizes on the t-shirts. I have not uh, reordered them yet. Hopefully I'll do that within the next week or two or three or, or whatever when I can afford to do it. Uh, I do have triple X, double X, and some smalls um, in uh, various colors. I got black and white in some of the colors. I don't have any extra larges. I don't have any larges and I don't have any mediums right now, guys. I apologize. I'll try to get that corrected. All right. Uh, glass fried pint back in the snifter. Let's go down the center. 15.1%. I don't think it's going to produce a big head. And this beer can be set up for a long, long, long time, guys. 15.1%. 3, 5, 10, even 15, 20 years this beer will keep. Not much of a head, just barely covering the top of the beer. And over to the light, there is none. It is pitch black. Let's get a nose on it. Ooh. A little bit of alcohol in this one, guys. I can smell it. I'm getting the bourbon notes. And that's right out of the fridge. All those aromas and flavors and tastes will come out a little more as I sip on it. And let it come up to room temperature, which I always do. I always do. No matter what the beer is, whether it's a lager, whether it's a Hefeweizen, whether it's an IPA, whether it's whatever style. In 
imperial style polder. I always sip on it 20 minutes or longer usually. If it's a lager, sometimes maybe 15. But all these bigger beers and stuff, I always let them come up. Some of the IPAs, I'll, I'll sip on them for an hour. And, and stuff like this, I'll sip on them that long sometimes. It is, I'll be straight up honest with you, very heavy alcohol notes. Very heavy bourbon notes. Rich roasted malt, almost to the burnt characteristics. Caramel, toffee, licorice. Bittersweet chocolate. But it is, it is a fairly boozy beer in my, in my opinion on the nose. Mm. Big beer, that's 15.1%. This is, this is not a small boy's beer. This is not a little boy's beer. This is not a chugging beer. This is something you want to savor. Set by the fire or the uh, gas logs or whatever your heating source is. A great wintertime beer. I'm getting the bourbon and I'm getting the booze, guys. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico, my brother. Mm, 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 mm. That's freaking awesome. I am a sucker for these bourbon barrel aged beers. And once you get to this magnitude, this will slap you down if you're not used to drinking something of this magnitude. Please, please, please drink a beer like this at home. Even if you have some a designated driver, if you go to a bar or brew pub and you're drinking, you drink two of these, you're going to embarrass yourself because you're going to be a drunk fool. You're going to be staggering around to the bathroom. You may even not even make it to the bathroom. You may not make it back out to the car. Somebody might be helping you out to the vehicle. I mean, 15.1%. This is three beers in one bottle. Wow, that's a freaking awesome. You drink two of these beers, you have a six pack. Just remember that. You've had the alcohol content of a six pack. Wow, that's freaking awesome. I'm getting slight hands of some coffee in there too. Big boys beer. I want to stress that to you. This is a monster beer. This is a Godzilla of a beer. 15.1%. Wow. That's delicious too. Final beer of the evening for me. Let me go out and fire up my stogie and uh, sip on this for a little bit. And hopefully I won't be too shit faced when I come back to tell you about it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. Awesome beer. Awesome, awesome, awesome beer. Uh, I think they need to do a little bit something different on their dating ink. That's the only plus I've got about this beer. Great bourbon notes. The alcohol is there now, guys. Uh, you can't, it's almost virtually impossible to hide 15.1%. Uh, I think it's what this has got on it. Yeah, 15.1%. And to tell you straight up, guys, uh, they've probably done this more than, this is probably not the first edition they've done of this because uh, Rape Beer has it at 14.3%, which is wrong. Imagine that. Uh, so uh, they need to update their site. And, uh, I find that more and more prevalent from these beer review sites. That they have the wrong information and it changes a lot of times from year to year so but they don't update their site uh, saying uh, uh, a lot of them like uh, untapped will have different versions different years 2015 2016 2014 if it's done multiple years you know and you can go to that particular version and just see what the right information is but beer advocate and rate beer a lot of times don't do that and uh, they have the wrong information because they've got something that was done the previous year or whatever and the new edition is this ABV and uh, a lot of times you got to look and, and see uh, 
Uh, you can't always go, oh, they got it listed here, but yeah, but they've got the wrong ABV or the wrong something on the beer. Uh, right beer has it at 15.10%, which is correct. And untapped has it at 15.1%. Uh, so, uh, right beer has it at 14.3%. So, that is wrong. Uh, that must have been last year's edition or whatever. But uh, for this edition that I'm doing, is wrong. So, uh, you take all that with a grain of salt, uh, and I do too. Uh, a lot of times you'll have misinformation from these sites. And I don't go to their particular, I don't go to Free Will uh, website uh, to see what they're saying, whether they list different years and stuff. Sometimes it'll have it here on one of their sites, but... A lot of times it does not, so. Great beer. Big beer. Monster beer. Godzilla of a beer. 15.1%. This will make you shit-faced very, very quickly, guys. And I do have a buzz. I'll be straight up honest with you. This is a monster beer. Final beer of the evening for me. Let's do the final chug. I am still getting the alcohol notes. I'm still getting the bourbon a lot of stuff going on here. Roasted malt, bittersweet chocolate, caramel, toffee, brown sugar, licorice, dark fruit. Wow. Monster beer. Final joke. I will tell you, the other half loved it. I had to pry it out of her hands. It was like I always have to do. When I have a nine or ten beer, she goes, you don't want any more of this. I go, mm, yeah, give me that. So I have to, have, to, have to snatch it from her hands a lot of times on these wonderful beers. The only thing that's keeping me from giving this a ten, guys, is the color of the ink. And a lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't agree to beer for this or that and the other. I'm just telling you, you should be able to read that ink very easily. And this is kind of hard to see, uh, but it's so damn close. 99 out of 100 for me, guys. Uh, it is so close to 100. If you say, oh, man, that's a 100 beer, I would not argue with that, guys. It is pretty freaking tasty. It's an awesome beer. It is an awesome beer, and I probably shouldn't deduct from that because they did, and I'm not going to. I'll take that back. I'm not going to deduct from that. Uh, they put the bottled on date. We're getting so many of these guys that are putting an enjoy by, best by, used by, or whatever by date, which suck. They suck. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to step up to the plate. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. This is a great beer. This is a fantastic beer. Uh... I'm not going to degrade from that. Uh, these guys are making that attempt. I wish they would. I wish they would use a little brighter ink than what they're using. But they are putting a bottle on date on it, and you can see it. And on top of that, they've got the bottle on date here, and they've got 2016 in big letters on the label to tell you that it is 2016 version. Uh, they don't have the IBUs on it, which is not critical for, for this beer. would like to see it because they had it on the uh, COB uh, uh, beer that I did yesterday. So, uh, great beer from these guys. Uh, and, and I tell you this all the time. I'm a sucker for these bourbon barrel aged beers, especially once they get to this magnitude. 15.1%. Awesomely well made beer. I love it. I love it. I am a sucker for these beers. That's why I'm going ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and give it to ten. Ten to one hundred for me, guys. It's very tasty. Uh, let's go over to uh, Beer Advocate and Beer Advocate says ninety-three outstanding. I think it's much better than a ninety-three. Come on, guys. Come on. What do you need? If this don't blow your hair back or your socks off, you're brain dead. And over to Rate Beer, they say ninety-eight overall, but only seventy-six in the style. Hmm. See, I see them there. A little bit of crack smoking monkeys going on. Uh, and for untapped, they have it at 4.18, which is in definitely in their A category. I have seen a 4.56 and 5.7 from these guys. So, as far as I can tell there, 
from their rating system, it's an A beer, but not quite to the A plus beer. And I think it is. I think it's a very tasty beer, a great final beer of the evening, a nice beer to sip or share with uh, whoever you want, you choose to your other half, uh, some close friends. Uh, uh, it's a great winter beer uh, when it's 10 degrees outside. It's not that here, but the wind is blowing about 50 miles an hour. I mean, it's in the uh, upper 40s, low 50s here, but the wind is just horrendous out there tonight. So, uh, still, uh, tasty beer. I enjoyed this. A great beer as far as I'm concerned. So, if you've had this one from uh, Free Wheel Brewing, this is their Rappius, a Bourbon Barrel Age, uh, Imp Russian Imperial South. Let me know what you think. I loved it. Uh, Rico, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate you sending it to me or bringing it to me on, the, on, on this one. Uh, very tasty. A pricey beer at $10 a pop where he bought it. You might be able to get it cheaper where you're at if it's available there. But, uh, nice beer. Very nice beer. There are some beers that cost more than this at a lower ABV than what you're going to get from this. Uh, and especially if they're dipping it in the wax and all that silly horse shit a lot of times. And they did not on this one. So, uh, great beer. I enjoyed it. So if you've had it from them, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's take something out of the fridge. See everybody then.